So honestly, easy? Yeah. Totally simple. Well, if you can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Hello, YouTube family. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be helping my brother Gary to build a five gallon bucket grow table. I'm Jerry. I'm Gary. And we're living the Newcomb life. All right, guys. So these original plans came from a YouTube channel called Hollis and Nancy's Homestead. Um, I did a video on this probably about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I'm going to leave a link for the build that I did up here and in the show notes below. So make sure to check that build out. This is going to be very close to the same build. The only difference is instead of a six foot four by four, um, Gary wanted his grow table up a little higher so he wouldn't have to, to bend over um, as far. Uh, so instead of 18 inch four by fours, we are going to cut his to 24 inches. That's really the only difference. Everything else is really going to be the same. And we're going to go through the whole process. So make sure that you guys stay till the end. Are you going to do all the cutting and stuff or do you want me to do it? I've got my back to the camera. That's probably not good. That's not good. Make sure it stays straight. I always do two marks. Uncle Herbert told me that's how the pros do it. Then listen, listen to Uncle <laughs> Herbert for sure. You want me to come on that side and grab it? Yeah. Now we need four two by fours cut 23 inches long. All right, so this one we gotta cut 13. 13 this will be fine. And it, this one is, it's the, the stabilizer bar. We need 12 deck boards, 18, 18 inches. inches. All right guys, so that is all 12 of our 18 inch decking boards. Now we need to cut two decking boards, 16 inches. The reason why we have to cut two of them uh, two inches shorter is because these are the decking boards that will go along the two outer edges. And that's where the four by fours are. All right guys, so we have all of our wood cut. And now we are actually going to get the grow table put together. You ready? Yeah. Let's awesome. do it. All right, guys. So this is going to be the first end, end piece that we're going to put together. Um, whenever you're working with wood, it's always best to pre-drill before you're actually going to put any screws in. But Gary went above and beyond. He bought premium screws for this job. And you do. they say you do not need to pre-drill. So we're gonna, I guess, kind of do a test and see yeah. how it works, but. So something else that you want to think about too, guys, is you, the aesthetics of this. You want it to look as good as possible. So when you're picking out your wood or even after you cut it, if you have some blemished wood or anything like that, you make sure you want to put the blemishes so that they can be seen the least. So like you want to put the best side up 
so that everybody can see it and the best side out. Um, and if you're going to stain it and you want to show that wood grain, that matters too. So I did not say this in my video that I did, but you measure from the top of your 4x4 10 inches down and that's where you put the top of this 2x4 because that's going to be the base of where your decking boards will be. Got a little bit of weight to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Right, guys so we're at the point now to where we're actually going to put the structure together the easiest way to do it especially if you're working by yourself is you want to set your two end units on their on one side facing each other eight feet apart because that's how long that your two by fours are and then you set your two by four inside like this and this one in there like this and then we're going to screw these in, squared up, uh, with the same three inch screws that we just used for the end caps. All right, so now that we got that, that side done, we're going to, um, we need to flip it on it, the other side and get the other side done. Alright, so now we're at the point to where the basic construction is all set up. So what we have to do now is we're going to put a stabilizer bar in on the bottom. So that's where that 13 inch 2x4 comes into play. So let's measure 4 feet. So you guys can really see it starting to um, take shape now. So we're going to take our 16 inch boards, uh, our decking boards, and we're going to put one on each end. And then we're going to get our 18 inch decking boards in there. Um, but we need to make sure that our spacing is right. So let me show you how we are going to do that. All right, so we want one inch overhang on each side for our deck boards. And what you want to do is, is you want an inch and a half spacing in between each decking board. What that does is it not only allows the five gallon buckets to have a stable platform, but it will allow anything, dirt, water, or anything like that to drain off properly. Um, one thing to note though, when you're putting your decking boards on, you'll see that it has the grain of the wood, you want it to be this way and not this way because in theory, if it's like this, it'll catch the water and it won't run off. But if it's like this, the water will tend to run off more. So you wanna make sure that your decking boards are all facing that, that way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two by four. We got all of the decking boards ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna do a preliminary fit just to see how it's gonna look and any adjustments that we might need to make. Sure. So uh, one of our scrap two by fours, inch and a half wide. So you can see right there, <laughs> it's almost perfect. Yeah, it's almost perfect. All right, so Gary is gonna grab some screws. Now, now we can switch from the three inch screws to the two and a half inch screws because the decking boards are only five sixteenths of an inch. So um, the two and a half inch screws will be more than plenty to hold these in place. So. What we're going to do is, Gary is going to start from one side, he's going to put the decking board on the end, fully screwed down, and then I will measure it with my handy dandy tool here, and we'll both make sure that it's about an inch overhang on each side. Alright guys, so what we did real quick was, uh, Gary went and he got a, a larger piece of scrap 2x4 for us, because basically that small scrap, it would have been fine, but if we can use this, it's going the full length of that um decking board and then when you run the other decking board on it you don't have to worry about it trying to sway 
or do anything that you don't want it to do. So this is the best way to know that it's all squared up um, and it'll fit right. Make sure it's got the end. Yep. Come from the in, inside. All right guys, so this is Gary's five gallon bucket grow table. Like I said before, the only difference between his and mine is my four by four legs are 18 inches and his are 24, which allows the base to come up a little bit farther so you're not bending over as much. Um, Gary has larger dogs than I do and this is gonna be setting out in his yard. So that was one of the things that he considered when we started this build right. was that just to kind of give us a little bit of an edge and keep the dogs off of the plants the best that we can, he decided to raise it up a little bit higher. Um, so what do you think so far? Was it a hard build to do? No, it's easy. I mean, the hardest part really is going to the hardware store, getting the wood, um, and then cutting it. After that, it's, I mean, the assembly is easy. It's really, really, really simple. It took us a total of how much time? Uh, probably an hour and a half total. Probably about an hour and a half total. Um, the only other thing that I would recommend is to stain it um, sooner rather than later. But all in all, it's ready to go. Um, again, if you want to check out my video, the only difference that I did in mine was I added two by fours on each end. Um, because I put a bar in up top so that I could uh, put down trellis twine so that I could trellis my plants. But what Gary is gonna be planting, trellising is not gonna be that big of a deal. And if he does, then he has tomato cages that he can set down in there. So for him, it's not that big of a deal, but it's something that we could add. Yeah, really, really, really simple um, later on. But if you wanna check out my video with that add-on, please do. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps our channel grow. And hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all of our upcoming videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. All right, let's measure and cut. Yeah, let's measure and cut. Measure once, cut twice, right? <laughs> measure measure once, once, cut, cut twice. twice. <laughs> Hey, Jerry told me to stop it. Perfect. So you see how it sits up kind of high, so you, you're not bending over as much. Right. Save, save my back save a little your back bit. a little bit. All right. So honestly, easy? Yeah. Totally simple. Well, if you can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs>